What's up everyone? Today I'm going to give you a review of the YOLO Box Mini. This device is an extremely powerful live streaming piece of technology that really elevates the game for live streaming in general. But let's open it up. It's got some great packaging. Comes with a screen protector, USB-C charger, and here's the device itself. Former uh, options to live stream IRL or doing these outdoor live streams involve the use of getting these heavy backpacks, which didn't really make sense, as well as the Live U unit, which I found very bulky. I've never tried it myself, but that was the main reason why I didn't get it. This device, basically the size of my hand, and any like camera that has an HDMI output can be used to live stream. It has one HDMI port, USB uh, connector, USB, uh, this is oh, HDMI out, that is HDMI in, HDMI out, uh, Ethernet cable to connect to the internet. This also has Wi-Fi as well, so you can connect to Wi-Fi. Or you can put in a SIM card, which is over here. Basically, any uh, cell phone plan that has data and texting can work. And um, you have some audio jacks here, line in, and uh, yeah, two microphones. Two microphone uh, jacks for audio, headphone jack, and this is the USB charger. Also, uh, SD card port as well because this can record video. Basically, it combines like three different machines. It's an encoder, it's a recorder, and it's also a live streaming monitor. So let's turn this on. The power button's down here. And um, you can see that it doesn't really weigh that much. Every update that this YOLO box had, it made the functionality so much better. So I've connected my GoPro via HDMI just to show you how this works. And we'll go to monitor mode. And basically, this is what the GoPro sees. There's different things you can do here. You can add some effects like image overlays or countdown timers like this for the live stream even add music but the music you need to add on the SD card so that's where it'll play on the live stream itself the countdown while it's getting ready to start now it's disabled you can add other stuff too lower thirds titles web uh, overlays And uh, here's a video switcher. If you have a video on the SD card, you can add that as the uh, extra video source. I know uh, you can also use the USB cable to um, add another video source as well. This over here is the audio mixer for the, uh, the mic input and also the camera via HDMI. You can do some things with that. Um, this one's for scoreboards for if you need to do something like a ball game or count the scores or whatever kind of game you're playing. Uh, auto switcher, video sources, and the settings menu. SD card management, USB out. This is a very like powerful unit and I've been using it for a while. I really love how smooth the menus are. It doesn't freeze at all. Alright, let's go live now. This is where the unit really shines. So let's create a live stream. We need to give this a title. Creates. And it's here. And you see we have the same view from before with the monitor mode with all the options on the bottom. Uh, you could also change the video quality if you want. It goes up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. And over here you can actually choose 
the different sources that you want to stream to. Um, you can stream to the YoloCast, to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or a custom RTMP link. And uh, you can also go into here and go to streaming mode. And if you go to YOLO Live's multi-streaming service, what it will do is it will actually broadcast one feed to YOLO Live's servers, which will then broadcast to up to three different sources. So you can do like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch at the same time. It's really neat. Um, this thing also has an amazing battery life. I barely use it and we're still at like 92% battery. And if you even need to like extend the battery life longer, you just hook it up to a USB charger. As you can see, this is one powerful device fitting in the palm of my hand. It's really like revolutionized live streaming and I can really see myself using this a lot more, especially with cameras that aren't used like my phone, like with my GoPro or DSLR. I would like to thank Yellow Live for sending me this unit for review. It's definitely a really powerful machine and I'm really looking forward to using it a lot more. So thank you all for watching and links will be in the video description below. Bye bye.